Ladies and gentlemen, on this epic desert battle scene today, we see Ramsey's army begin raining down arrows on Babylon's chariots. If you guys are looking forward to this one and would like to see more like it in the future, of course, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like and sub button. And like I just said, guys, Babylon's chariots, you, you guys join mid Babylon's chariots getting absolutely butchered here. And by absolutely butchered, I mean absolutely butchered. Babylon tried to sally up their chariots immediately into this battle, did not work for them, and instead are now committing some of their light, lighter no shield infantry into where those arrows were just raining down. Not the greatest start for Babylon ever. Um, and those chariots do try to retreat up to the hill, but the quick moving, uh, armies of Ramses are going to tail him up this hill. And you can see that, uh, this fight, this fight is not going well for Babylon right off the start, but, um, we're going to follow these elite Medjay warriors into the fight. We're going to watch them throw their javelins here in just a second. There they go. Javelin throw going off and now engaging into the melee fight against some spearmen. I believe that this is an eastern spearman unit. No, shielded spearman unit. So engaging in that melee fight there. And you can see the amount of arrows that Ramsey's army is putting into the sky. Now, one of Babylon's greatest features is their chariots, right? <laughs> they have some great chariot units, which is why their troop count is so low in this fight. Because chariots for them are supposed to be their bread and butter. But as you can see, <laughs> um, their chariots didn't exactly survive the initial start of this battle. To become said bread and butter. So we, we're, we're kind of arriving upon sort of an issue here. And that issue is quickly becoming... Uh, Babylon's bread and butter, uh, it's no longer existing, right? And so, as you can see here, Ramsey's units do shatter the entire center of Babylon's army, and the archer fire is catching up, too. And, oh my god, it's just disgusting. I mean, look at this. These units, just no, no shields, getting absolutely melted by archer fire. Look at this! absolutely melted by archer fire it's not even close the center now completely shattering for babylon and ramsey's army is following them right over this hill look at this just pouring over this hill absolutely just disgraceful level of massacre right now babylon's forces are in a full retreat all that's left for them is pretty much archers at this point their infantry did nothing their infantry existed for a little bit like <coughs> for a brief period of time babylon did have infantry <coughs> sorry about that um yeah no i'm still i'm still getting over my sickness you know you know how it is but uh yeah just continuous just archer fire here just absolutely melting babylon's men it doesn't matter if they have shields or not when there's enough arrows to blanket out the sun I don't think it matters how much your shields or how many like of your men have shields. I just I just think they're all just going to die. And that is exactly what's happening right now. It is all of Babylon's men are just getting cut down and now they are completely surrounded on all sides. And they're being shot from the sky, surrounded on all sides. If I was one of Babylon's men, I would I would also be wavering from this fight right now. I would not want to be here any longer. Uh, the chariots now engaging in that fight, firing some of their fire arrows into the backs of the, um, of this men that have, <laughs> of some of Ramsey's men that have surrounded the infantry. But look at that, it's just blanketing the sky. I mean, it's not even close. It, it unfortunately just really isn't. Like, oh my goodness, this is, this is a genuine grade A massacre. Like, there's, I oh my, oh my gosh. It just keeps getting worse, man. The arch It's like the second that the archers catch up to being in range of the chariots, you just watch these chariots melt. But along with that, the right flank has also completely dissipated for Babylon. Their center is completely dissipated, and their left flank is also dissipating now. So with that, it is very easy at this point to call this victory for Ramses. 
And uh, so yeah, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video and would like to see more like it in the future, of course, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like and sub button. And of course, I will see you all next time. Peace.